Caitlin Young, Cindy Dan Dwah. These are two experienced women. What do we know about Caitlin Young's plan tonight, Randy? Caitlin Young with 22 fights on her record. She's got, she's won five of her last fights, four out of her last five fights, I should say. She's fought with some of the best in this sport. Gina Carano, Julie Ketsi, Liz Carmouche, former champ Misha Tate. She has got a ton of experience in mixed martial arts. Speaking of Misha Tate, Cindy Dandois is one of Misha Tate's best friends, and she comes all the way from Belgium to try and make something happen. Kenny? That's right, and just like Misha, she's an excellent grappler, guy. She comes from that judo background, and you look at her last four fights, all finishes by submission, a variety of, of different submissions. First round finish, first round finish, another one in the second round. Uh, she is very good at forcing you to play her game. We'll take a look at the tail of the tape presented by CarParts.com. Caitlin Young, two inches taller, but the reach advantage goes to Cindy Danvois on both the arms and the legs. Danvois weighed in two pounds below the lightweight limit at 153 pounds. Lillian Garcia gets these ladies going inside the smart cage. The action continues in the women's lightweight division. This bout is presented to you by CarParts.com. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. She specializes in Muay Thai. Standing at 5'9", she officially weighs in at 155 pounds. In 22 professional bouts, she has a record of 11 wins, 10 losses, and one draw, with eight wins by knockout. Fighting out of Shoreview, Minnesota, here is Caitlin, the striking Viking, Young. Her opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, she specializes in judo. Standing at 5'7", she officially weighs in at 153 pounds. In 21 professional bouts, she has a record of 16 wins and five losses, with 13 victories by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Antwerp, Belgium, here is Cindy, the battle cat, Dandois. Your referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Three five-minute rounds of professional women's lightweight action overseen by Keith Peterson inside the PFL Smart Cage. Caitlin Young in the black and gray, Cindy Dandois in the red. Cindy Dandois gave birth Am four you ready? months Am you ago. Ready? Fight to her sixth child. <laughs> we know she's tough. Two very contrasting styles here. Of course, the grappling game, but Dandois taking on the striking game of Caitlin Young. Caitlin and Cindy both have a ton of experience. What's impressive about Dan Dwyer, she's got four bronze medals in the Belgian Judo Championships. That means four times she lost that dream of being the champ and came back to get that bronze medal. That's resilience. Nice jab there from Caitlin Young, firing away. Cindy Dan Dwyer waiting in, trying to grab a clinch or push Caitlin Young against the cage. Another double jab there from Young. Nice right hand there from Dan Vlog, who tries to loop one over. Cindy utilizing that shelling defense there. She just has to be careful with Caitlin Young going to the body as she raises up those arms. Dandois grabs the head and throws the knee. Caitlin Young gives her a nice right hand for her efforts. Again with the right hand, Caitlin Young. Dandois is using that right hand to try and grab a clinch. Closes the distance. Footwork there by Caitlin Young. And against the cage they go, but it's Young in control. Trying to grab the tie plumb here. Caitlin doing a nice job of framing out and not getting that body-to-body -body contact with the judo practitioner. Jab goes to work again there from Caitlin Young. Dan Dwa will try and solve this puzzle and get hip to hip. Yeah, as opposed to some of the, the wrestling styles that look for the clinch, you know, the wrestlers will look for that underhook where a lot of the judokas will look for either the collar tie or an overhook to try to land a throw. So far, Caitlin Young doing a good job of breaking away from that clinch. And there it is, that right hand turns into a clinch here for Sidney Dan Caitlin Young once again frames out and pushes away. 
That was a bit unorthodox, almost a bit awkward the way she throws her punches. I think that's why that right hand keeps landing, because it's coming from a place and a rhythm that's much different than Caitlin Young is used to. Absolutely. Round Young halfway gone here. Hook attempt there from Caitlin Young. Nice combination there from Dan Wah after another right hand from Caitlin Young. Punches in punches might be the answer for Cindy Dan Wah to close this distance. Yeah, Caitlin doing a good job. She's doing a good job of landing those combinations. I'd like to see her faint a little bit more. She's trying to get Cindy to raise those hands up. Then it kind of opened up some spots for her to land some good shots. Stiff one two from Young, another right hand and a left on the way out. Caitlin Young controlling the distance here as Dan Bois chases a clinch. Yeah, excellent footwork there by Young. Absolutely nice footwork and angles by Young. I agree with you, Kenny. I think she starts landing some kicks and shots to the body and that lower body is yeah. gonna bring those hands down at Dan Bois. And there's that collar tie and a throw, but Caitlin rolls right through it. Dan Bois hanging heavy on the head. Caitlin Young says, nope, let's stand back up. Double right hand from Caitlin Young. And Caitlin looking very sharp here in round one. Under one minute to go. Dan Watt dogged in her pursuit, walking down Caitlin Young, but Young staying sharp from the outside. Here comes the 10 second clapper closing out round one. Dan Bois and Young, it's a striking battle so far. Can Cindy close the distance and get this one to the ground in round two? We'll find out next. John O'Connell, Randy Couture, Kenny Florian back for round two. Ocean Casino Resort in Atlantic City. PFL regular season action. Are you Caitlin ready? Young are you ready? of the United Fight. States in the black and gray. Sydney Dan Bois representing Belgium in the red. Nice right hand again from Caitlin Young. She's scoring with that. There's an uppercut as well. Fighter performance rating brought to you by Rich Energy. Caitlin Young gets a 40, Dan Bois a 26. Remember, FPR doesn't just traditionally measure the counted landed strikes. It's about the impact of those strikes. Are you affecting your opponent's balance, their game plan, visible damage showing? Dan Bois attempting to hang heavy on the head and create some sort of Leverage to throw Caitlin Young. Young wisely pressing Dan Bois into the cage. Yeah, that right arm frame is saving her there. The judokas want to get their hips under your hips. If you force them to stand up straight, makes it a lot harder. Caitlin Young obviously did her homework. That stick and move tactic that she's using, not allowing her to tie up, get an over and under or anything where she can score a throw and get this fight to the ground is very, very effective. No question about it. She's establishing that jab. She's keeping Dan Dwar on the outside. And Dan Dwar just hasn't had a whole lot of opportunities to, to finish any of these clinches, too, because Caitlin has done her homework in the clinch as well. She's framing, she's creating that space. She's taking away that hip to hip contact from Dan Dwar. Dan Bois with the shot here, nice draw from Caitlin Young. Dan Bois with the right hook as they stand back up. Oh, 
Disciplined performance here with the footwork from Caitlin Young. Not leaving any openings where Sidney Dan Block can get hip to hip. Absolutely, and that's where that experience really comes into play. It's not a whole lot she hasn't seen inside the cage. Credit to Cindy Dan Wash. She's wearing a lot of punches, but on the forearm with that shell guard, she's able to keep the defense high. An exchange of right hands there. Real problem with that shell guard is it makes it really hard to counter punch, to, to throw a punch of your own when your opponent does step into that range of exchanges. I agree, it opens you up to uppercuts and shots the body as well. So far, Caitlin hasn't exposed the, that, but she has done a great job from the outside with that jab and that one too. Side leg kick from Caitlin Young. Dan Wall answers this one to the body. And I think that's one thing that Dan Dwa can do. You know, she doesn't have the same kind of boxing skills as Caitlin Young, but she could get some things going with her leg game. But she is in hot pursuit. There's yeah. no doubt about that. She is just stalking her down and trying to find a way to get close and close that distance to get her hands on her. 90 seconds remain here in round number two. PFL action, regular season playoffs, the championship. Each fighter will receive three points for a win. You get bonus points if you can score a finish in rounds one, two, or three, which means two bonus points are still on the line here in the second frame. Successful escape out. Keeps that backpedal effective there for Caitlin Young. Absolutely. Picks an angle. Moves in circles, does not move straight back and allow Dan Bois to continue to close. Kind of a chopping right hand there from Cindy Dan Bois. She tries to make some offense happen. Yeah, footwork really has been the difference in this one. Caitlin Young on point. I can tell you as a fighter who is pretty dogged and moving forward, this type of fight can be very, very frustrating because someone with disciplined footwork like that, picking you apart as you try and rush in, makes you tired. Shot attempt there from Dan Dwight, no good. Yep, the best kind of wrestling defense is you never let him clinch with you. And uh, Caitlin Young, her footwork has really been the difference here against Dan Dwight. 10 seconds remain in round number two. Caitlin Young continues with the one twos. Round three, next. League regular season action back. Women's lightweights and heavyweights Emma, tonight here on ESPN. Cindy Danlaw in the red, Caitlin Young in the black and gray, and the story so far has been that jab and the footwork that goes along with it. Fighter performance rating for round two. Young with the advantage there. Again, fighter performance rating measures not just strikes, but the impact of those strikes. Decent combination there, and now it's Caitlin Young going to work with the clinch. A couple of knees and a right hand. 
Yeah, nice sharp combination off the break there from Kate and Young. Pulling her way in to Sydney Danbois. Caitlin Young plays Matador in sidesteps. There's that chopping right hand. You talk about an orthodox striking, Randy. That's exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's why you're seeing redness on the face of Caitlin Young as she scores an inside leg kick. Because the angle is strange. The timing is strange. Dan Block not having a ton of success, but when she does, part of it is because of that unorthodox nature. There it is again. Caitlin just has been much better at establishing her distance, moving her feet, keeping the proper range. There's another nice jab. Yeah, the discipline on display to, to not get tangled up in Dan Dwa's game by Caitlin Young is very, very impressive. One thing about this backward motion from a striker is you're putting a lot of trust in judges to emphasize the fact that you're landing rather than giving credit to your opponent for controlling a cage and being the aggressor. You just never know. Clearly, as you can tell with our strike counter down there, Caitlin Young has the advantage, but it's not a wild disparity. The gap between these two women and the strikes landed is not massive because of the defense of Dan Block for the most part, and she will not give up on this clinch. Finally grabs the headlock. Oh, wow. Finally gets Young down. Can she stay on top? Sippy Dan Block grabs the guillotine. Oh, 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 guys. High elbow. Dan Block squeezing. Oh, this looks pretty tight here. Can Kaylin Young survive it? And Sippy Dan Block yanking on the neck of Kaylin Young. Two minutes remain. That's a long time. Dan Law is so good at pulling a submission out of anywhere. And it looks like Caitlin Young doing a good job of fighting hands there. She has her hands in place, and she's out. She pushes wow. her way out. Dangerous moment there for Caitlin Young. Excellent defense by the striking Viking. Caitlin didn't seem to, to panic at all. She stayed on those hands, did a good job of crowning her head out of there and getting it out of danger. 90 seconds remain here in round number three. Cindy Dandois still a threat. Another jab from Caitlin Young. And a jab right back from Cindy Dandois. That one stuck through the guard. This is easily Dandois' best round. She's landing from the outside. She was successful with that takedown. Almost turned it into a submission. Four months since giving birth. Pretty, pretty impressive performance. The resilience is amazing. She just keeps coming forward. Doesn't seem to be tired. Her face is taking a lot of shots. Doesn't seem to have any issues. Absolutely. Dan Dwok, very difficult to put away. Continues to move forward. Caitlin Young, staying very disciplined. This has been a very strategic fight. An aggressive round three here from Cindy Dan Dwok, showing some urgency. Pushing in once again, 30 seconds remain. Leg kick there from Dan Dwaz. Winging right hand misses. Only 10 seconds left for Cindy Dan Dwaz to make something happen here. An exchange of kicks. Dan Dwaz grabs on once again. And that will do it for this regular season women's lightweight fight. An interesting third round, Kenny. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously the corner for Dantois got to her because we saw a way more active and even more aggressive Dantois. I mean, she was aggressive throughout, but that was her most successful round, in my opinion. Time now for the Cajunomic Stats Bundle presented by Geico. And this is what I was talking about. The total strikes landed. There's not a wild disparity because of that, that high guard from Dan Wah. 
How will the judges see? Taking a look at these replays. Dan, there's Kalen Young doing a nice job trying to pick a combination, find a way to get through that guard of Dan Dwar and land good shots. The most impressive thing is the footwork. She chooses angles, escapes well. Take a look at the fighter performance rating brought to you by Rich Energy. Much closer round three, but even with that submission attempt, Caitlin Young defended it well all three rounds, according to FPR, in Caitlin Young's favor. Will the judges agree? Lillian Garcia lets us know. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored the bout 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision and earning three points in the women's lightweight division, Caitlin Young! I'm actually surprised by the surprise on the face of Sydney Danois when that decision was read.